Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. We're back for another Western Conference of the semifinals. Me and me phone are here. This is where we bring things back, Warriors and Grizzlies, here back at FedEx Forum. This should be another one to give things a try, to give it a whirl, as for all the people really love the Warriors team. They do always. It's amazing to give that one a good chance out there. We got a great amazing uh, players that have gotten a lot of most of the points in careers at this game. So far, it looks like the Warriors are trying to head their way to the Western Conference Finals. And if you're watching it on TV, it looks like the Warriors have already made it to the Finals. Back for the number time since they have already went to the finals last in 2019. That was like season three. Incredible scoring of their run. I think the ability will become even more better if we love to see the Warriors win the whole thing. But we'll have to wait till later then once the conference finals on real is over and this one round two is over before we head to the conference finals to head over to the NBA Finals. So, let's bring things on over to FedEx Forum, and a special guest on the sideline I have is Lightbulb! Hey, how's it going there? Well, we got some uh, great amazing games out there in between the Golden State Warriors and also the Memphis Grizzlies. Welcome to the show, dear Lightbulb! It's great to have you back here since Season 2 of the Inanimate Insanity. How does it feel now that you would like to see this game? Oh, it's going to be a terrific uh, uh, chance out there. I think I'm going to definitely going to watch this one. You know what? I prefer why not. It's a good idea to give that one a good call in between those two. I like those teams. These teams are the best. Well, we got to give that one a good run here. Now we head you down to Memphis to start the presentation. Let's get started, our team. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Coming live here at Memphis, Tennessee, as the Warriors are playing up against the Grizzlies. And his goal is about to become even more better. And Grizzlies are looking for a way to lead to come back in the game. So there might be another way to get in that work. Warriors. Grizzlies is next. Right after this. Everybody well, hello everyone, and this is FedEx Forum here live around here of NBA Playoffs in Memphis, Tennessee. And we have a along with me, the Burn and Lightbulb, and stepping inside will be David Oldrich. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Grizzlies first found an identity with Brick and Grind. As a rookie, Jared Jackson cut his teeth alongside Mike Conley and Mark Gasol. He said, now it's next gen, but it's still the same sort of mentality. We take defense seriously. That's our staple. When you do that, you usually win. Guys? They do. They do always. Thank you, DA. I'd like to see some status out there. So far, the, the teams are looking very good in between a session right down there. And I think there might be a good way that we'd like to see Stephen Curry hitting some three-pointers. And you know he's definitely a great three-pointer on this range, so far than ever. As the teams right now, Stephen Curry and John Morant are the key matchups in the point guard. Taylor Jenkins and Steve Kerr are the head coaches in between those two teams. It looks like Game 5 is about to be starting here. I think we're all ready to get going in Game 5. Grizzlies win, and we're about to set underway here at FedEx Forum, all fueled up and ready to go. Starting off is John Morant in the point guard, then we have is Steven Adams in the center, Jaron Jackson Jr. in point forward, then Dylan Brooks here around the shooting guard, 
and Desmond Bain here in the small four position. The one thing I did talk about that one is that John ja Morant was definitely a greatest player that he has ever, ever done, done it before. Since last time in a couple of seasons, he's done a great job here helping the team get back in pressure. Here's Morant covered up by Curry. He goes right to Bain. Poole on the cover. And he stepped out of bounds. This one turns to be a turnover on Memphis as this will be Golden State ball. In between a mistake out there, he was stepping out of bounds. He looks like he just couldn't try to stay back in the game. He couldn't stay on the court, so he just stepped back. It went too far. Thompson delivers off to Poole. Poole goes right to Thompson. Thompson to Curry. Three-pointer coming up. And it's off the target range as Curry missed the three-pointer in game five. And let me tell you this one. It's it's very that very difficult to give that one a, a good run. The LB credits on that one can be a very, very tough one. But on the long side, you might go for your time. Or you might just go and give it standby. And for Clay Thompson, he was delivering his best performance of this run. Since he haven't couldn't play last season here since the pandemic has already been hit, we're glad to see him return to the game and get right back to work. So it looks like we're going to see him get right in it. Curry faces off to Thompson. Warriors making some new uh, player open passes. Thompson outside for three. Good outside the triple range. That will be the first three-pointer for Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson got a great hot start tonight here in game five. Better than Stephen Curry to give up that one. Moran missing the double. And Jackson Jr. comes in to save it as they're back up by one. Warriors lead trailing. Now he goes right to Poole outside. The screen coming in for Green. Poole inside. Takes the scoop and he will put up a first two buckets for Poole. Jordan Bull was definitely a, a huge amount of successful. In the moment of time, the most relieving being, he may have been a one of the bestest players here that can definitely try to be the rookie of the year. We're not even sure how positive he's going to take it from here, but hopefully we'll give him a, a good whirl and give it off on that one. That will be a very good idea to keep it to keep the eyes on target. Bane on Bull. Puts the pressure inside to Bain, gets it to go. It's now a one point backup in the lead. And the Warriors got two minutes left here to play in the first quarter. Curry right over to Poole. He takes it off to Wiggins. Fights back to Poole. Over Bain. And it's, it's caught in traffic as Adams takes his first rebound. Adams was the only uh, biggest of all tall defenseman here after Valanciunas has already been traded. And Steven Adams, for good stuff, he couldn't definitely play with the uh, New Orleans Pelicans, so he wants to go to uh, Memphis to help him out. And a great layup drive by Steven Adams. It's now a three-point lead. They're delivering up a hot topic out there. Much more is needed here for Steven Adams this time. What a run this comes out. Poole, right back to Thompson to Curry. Curry with the fade up jump. That's good. A two pointer is up for Curry. And a first timeout will be called by Memphis with a minute and seven to go. We still got much time left here as it's now a 10 9 lead. So far, we've always talked about the team here. And most of all, the, the player that we haven't all encountered out there. There's much uh, happening out there so far, and we got a, a bunch of players that wanted to give it all out here. So far, and, and simple. How does it usually take you from, uh, from the offense and defense and pick up the brush of your light bulb? Well, it's pretty sure, and honest to be my opinion, it can be very, very hard for me to like, like go for the uh, toughest decision out there. Most players, they got a great uh, hustling of the rebound. I know that the, the only player that did set out the most was Giannis Antetokounmpo. He was delivering up a, a well, a healthy run here. Another great, uh, great player, and definitely also, a, they love to uh, they love to have their own timing ability. They like to get their own timing shots. They got it all, even kind of down. New changes are released here for the Grizzlies and the Warriors. As Conchar is checked in, 
along with Anderson. The Warriors are making some switches here as Peyton, Porter, Kaminga, and Looney are checked in from the other, other side of it. Anderson gets the fade and it's a layup drive for Anderson. Anderson was really well at it. He was he was gonna stop the attacker and he goes right around it. Kaminga right over to Curry. Up and over feed to Porter. Porter reaches up, whips it inside as Porter gets his first bucket. And that's not talk about that Porter who did have it all down on the board. He stayed focused out there, and most of him in his impression out there gives him a hard stop. And there is a chance out there that they wanted to give up a, a well worthy credit. Melton inside the paint. It's deflected by Looney. Looney gets his first block, and it will hold the ball for Grizzlies. A tremendous mobile one block. And you're telling me that uh, Looney was a was a good successful onto the paint inside out. Yeah, they're looking very good and comfortable in there, right in the center. Doing really well. Keeping an eye on Pride. Looney, I really like that one. The feelings of this one is a pressure on the tape. Must know that. There is a chance. They're going to have to do it again in order to get it right. Clark can't make the two. Kaminga right over to Peyton in the second. Finds Looney in the paint down and he's fouled and this will be off target. Brandon Clark receives his first personal first team foul on the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies are way, way too much to take their uh, way off balance target. Not so good here with the with the man to try to pick them on. But it looks like Kevon Looney will have to take two in order to take the lead. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first free throw for Looney. Looney is like the only toughest guy he has ever played here so far, and the last season was giving a uh, world of an incredible run. I know that uh, Kevon Looney was definitely going to try to like take it all down, but it's uh, one lucky play here for him tonight. And Looney takes two free throws. Warriors lead it. 10 seconds left here in the first period. Jones off to Clark. Fives to shoot. Clark on Looney trying to get a weapon and he's fouled. And it goes off the target. Wow, a mistake here for the Warriors. This is the putback revenge for the Grizzlies. Oh, I'm not even feeling that one. <laughs> it looks like he was all mistake already. And he says, my fault. Now Brendan Clark, I mean, he looks like he's gonna have to try to like revenge it all. And wants to get things off here, good lucky credit. He knocks the first free throw down. And you've got to be careful with Kevon Looney. He's already got gotten his first foul and his first team foul, leveling it up here on the edge of the marker. It's the second free throw, back up in the lead. And Curry going from half court, and it went off target here. That's the end of the first quarter. It's 14-13, Memphis Grizzlies lead by one. We'll get a quick break, and we will come back right after this. back here in the FedEx Forum as the second quarter is about to begin. It's 14-13 as Brendan Clark has his two free pointers down. They have one up, one down. In between that run, Brendan Clark had really never got a go going here from his season until last season it was turning to be a roughest on the mark. I don't know what to tell you about one because Brendan Clark is not going to try to like succeed at fruit. And this all the time, it would be very hard to give him a worthy shot 
it's too much for him right now. He's, he needs something else to give things a, a, a lucky moment here on offense to give that one a try. Kevon Looney with the assist, and Kaminga's got his first bucket here for tonight. Milton, Clark, inside, Jones, just in the two, back up by one. And there's a lot of lead changes going on. Eight and one tie alone. Now Porter outside. Curry for three. Slight late, but he had it all down. And now they're up by two. You, know, you got to call it that one. Stephen Curry was uh, delivering a pressure on the heat so far. Not really uh, well comfortable, but it may be very, very tough to give that one a try. Payton the second dish off to Kaminga. We are under a minute to play here in the uh, second period of the game. Kaminga inside. On Anderson, Curry inside. Nice D covered here, and Jones will help Clark after the rebound take. Conchar ups outside. Faces inside. Up again. Anderson delivers a two, and they're up again. Even it up the score. That's number two. All because of one. There is a lot of good offensive opportunity here to give that one a good run. Not a great, uh, not a great opinion, but there are going all over the place. Porter misses the three. Melton on the fast break. Alley oop, and he's blocked and rejected away. Curry all alone. He finally reaches up here, and timeout is called by Memphis Grizzlies. You talk about that one here. The blocking of this alley oop was a huge success. And with the alley oop failure, it doesn't really work out well enough for Memphis to give it all they've got. The NBA playoffs of the conference semifinals on 2K Sports is brought to you by Tissit, the official watch of the NBA. Adidas, if possible, is nothing. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to an agent today and get a free quote at 1-800-STATE-FARM. And the go for flashback here in between the Golden State Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies here in the wild card from last season. Those teams are the only uh, playing that they have done here before. So far, there is so much going on here in between the Warriors and Grizzlies. And for real life, if Grizzlies have made it to the playoffs here, for the first time since the longest year ever was already upheld. How did this usually happen here when the Grizzlies are going to make the win here, here for the realer games, and the Warriors here winning for the 2K21 game? I am not even considering positively enough to go with the 100% uh, good, good enough to make that one, but it may be very a uh, hard look out there. I have nothing else to say about them, but there is a way that they can try to stop one and go for a pressure and take the tape. It may be very tough, but nothing to worry about it. It may be right or wrong. I have no confidence about that one here. In between about Steven Adams with a great defending of the rebound, they have it all here down. It can be very uh, tricky sometimes. I'm betting this one, this can be the leadoff change here. Bain gives it up, an offensive foul is on Jackson Jr. He is roughing up on Clay Thompson, and that's a turnover releasement. Not so good. The releasement of the screen was giving him too much, and he went down on the floor. That was like an easier call. They're not going to try to like whip it off too soon. Green, oh man, he made a spin move and made a shot. Draymond Green's got his first bucket, and now we approach down to two minutes left, four minutes, three minutes to play on the court. As for, for himself, of Steven Adams off to Morant. Oh, look out below. Morant goes wild. <laughs> that jam. You bet that would count that. Wow. I'm betting that would. James, John Morant, you feel like he's a pressure on flying on the heart. And that was your greatest slam dunk of all the time presented by AT&T 5G for a part of a slam cam. And that's a free second call on Belitza with a minute and 40 to go. And with that one, Ultimate Internet Access 
rely on to like any year, any contract. John Moran on pool. This is off to Brooks. Still tied up so far. It's 22. Moran after him. Going to take a look. We'll go around. Pool off to Jackson Jr. Rebounded again. And a solid D on Andrew Wiggins. He's delivering it up a hard, heavy hitter. Pool finishes a drive, and this one goes back up by two. A lot of lead changing so far for the Warriors. This really does stand out. All of a sudden, you're gonna need to like have a have a you're gonna need to drop down some science out there if there's a there's another way to go down from the, the angle on the floor. Thompson outside faces off to Wiggins. They're trying to make a newer selection here. Six to shoot. Well, it's uh, in the middle. Takes a good open feet off in the corner of the box. Belitza has got his first bucket in game five. Belitza is only, uh, only the uh, toughest team here that definitely played here. The one of a time that Belitza haven't in, all encountered out. And with their team, they got it all here. And they have a great win against the Sacramento Kings in the second game of the regular season. Brooks needs to get some shot. The two up. Off the bound, and this one is no foul bell called on the Warriors. The green still has it out, and he now finds it off to Wiggins. Cool. Thompson trying to go for the buzz beater. He is out. Off and in and out, and that will close the first half of the game. It's 26 22. Now standing by is David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? They're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and they've done a better job as avoiding fouls and just playing good. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David. Thank you very much. Stay around later for the second half. All right, let's get the discussion down. We're going to have to have a recap. And in that period, the most they trailed by was three. They had a very good second quarter, currently holding a four-point advantage at halftime. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? Black on the road is having no effect on this team. I mean, between the plane, the hotel, the buses, you can fly. You can adapt your energy level. But right now, they look like a pressure team. And we'll see if they hit the wall in the second half. Shaq, your take on Memphis. I like the way they rebounded. They devote a lot of energy down low, fight for the triple and they help keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it can easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. All right, that's it for right now. Time to head you back to FedEx Forum to start the second half of the game. As we step along here in the fourth, third quarter, it's a six-point lead for the Golden State Warriors over Memphis. This time, we all call it the slam out there. John ja Morant, the drive. He's putting up a pressure here for tonight off the playoffs. Every, every game. How does it all take turned out for John ja Morant there, guys? He's a pressure. He's definitely a, one of the bestest players here in the, uh, in the offense of the team. And also uh, some top plays here. Moment of go, he really loves to fade things off. He loves to tell his whole family, and he really loves to tell his all, all of his cousins, all the fans, and also with relieving the message on him. I know he was going to definitely try to conquire from their team to give it all they've got. I know this one because of uh, because of John Morant was going to like keep an eye on the uh, pride. Well, they got it all here down. And the last time in the regular season, they couldn't win against the Miami Heat. Because of all that happened here, it was the toughest game here that they have ever been played here in Game 9. Green, right to Curry. Back and over, it's Clay Thompson. Thompson delivered out to Curry. Up back to Poole. Poole in the box. Feeds it off to Green. It's five on the shot clock. Green drive. And that's a hard D on Steven Adams. This one now swept his back to Memphis ball. Brooks trying to put around a cross ankle on Clay Thompson, but he is not going down at all. Brooks 
back on Thompson. Back to Adams. Over Wiggins. Another miss by Memphis Grizzlies. There's a lot of contact there. A lot of us shooting on, guarding on the defense. It was very tough to, give, to keep an eyes on. There's so many players at once to like try to wrap things around here. And it's so tough. If you can't find a man and you can't find a shot, that means the players are getting on to you. Brooks setting the screen on Adams. He fights over to Bain. Back to Adams. Pool on cover. With the fade up again. Back and over. Morant. The two or three. And it went up. Tip it back. Oh, it did not count. Go in there. That was a close call. Very close. Not even tough enough to try to like keep an eye on the range out there. Green moves back to Curry. Screen coming for Green. And Curry drive. You count that bucket in there. He puts a little uh, puts a little fist move on there to show what you got. Timeout has been called by Memphis Grizzlies with 2.43 to go. It is now a great game going to be for the Warriors, and they are going to step into the Western Conference Finals if they win in Game 5. Yeah, it's always coming down the wire in between those two. I know that they're calling for. They won in Game 1, 3, and 4 that are all down here in below. They are about to be a shocker show on their run. And you're telling me the Warriors definitely got a great, uh, great offensive on the drive. They're doing a what much job. Some changes here for the Warriors and the Grizzlies. As right now, Brandon Clark is checked back in for Stephen Adams. Kevon Looney is checked in for, for D Draymond Green. Two-pointer, it connects for Anderson. All five players are checked out, and the newer one that will turn to be out will be in between his own. Curry moves it over to Porter. Porter swings off to Payton. Payton moves over to Porter. Backing over is Curry. Over Jones, and he's got a great feed in the side to paint. It is delivering a fast break. Fast break always does come out there, though. Seven Curry drive, giving up a great worthy run out there. Double man cover. Clark, back to Conchar. And Anderson up again, taking the one hand dunk. Are you kidding me? He is delivering itself with a one hand dunk motion. I call that one. This one was a very toughest one that no one has ever seen here. But Anderson was going to give it off their run. Curry making the three. The two. And that will count as they will say it is a two-pointer on a three-point line. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be very uh, particular out there. It was very too hard. Not too much to get things on. But you could have got to make the three-pointer instead. Grizzlies trail by four. Porter back to Curry. He swings over to Peyton in the second. Peyton trying to scoop it around. Porter back over to Looney. Over again, Kaminga around Anderson. And a saving off the target is inbound. Kaminga's got his second bucket. Kaminga, you really have to talk to tell that this was all that happened here most of the time. And this one was definitely a truest player to definitely have it all in demand here. Most of it single digit of every other games that they got played. Looney outside, 40 seconds to go here in the third period. Peyton right over again, and the pass is broken up. Conchar on the way. And you feel the jam! Conchar! That's finally on the board. And Anderson with the assist. There is so much uh, offending of that uh, the crowds. They are unstoppable on their run. Looney outside. Only 20 seconds to go. Curry is looking for another way to get right by him. Finds Poole Porter. Kaminga fights it over to Looney. Freeze to shoot. Payton for three. And he made it through! Count that bucket in there! And another one turned out to be the Warriors with the assist. 
Jones on Curry for Buzzbeater off the target. That ends the third quarter. It's 39-32. The Warriors are lead by leading by seven. I hope the fourth quarter will end their run tonight, but we will have a break when we come back. And what a game this turned out here as the Warriors are looking for a way to get into the conference finals in between those two. Glad you have joined us back here so far as we got the fourth quarter running in action, all filled up, and we're ready to go. Jackson, Jackson Jr. is back in again, now along with Brooks, and then it is Ja Morant. And then the other player that's still in there is Melton. Meanwhile, we have his Curry in point guard, and we have his Kaminga right in the point forward. Kibon Looney, the end to the, uh, I'm sorry, what do you call it? Draymond Green in center. Thompson in the shooting guard, small forward, and Andrew Wiggins in the shooting guard. So far right now that Clay Thompson was delivering up another two, five points in the game. It's definitely tough. Wow, bang, you feel that energy. That was a slam. Down the dunk. Curry right over again to Wiggins. Back in the over is Thompson. He's going for another three. Wide open range and what a feel of the proud pressure for Thompson. He is delivering the fire here for tonight. I'm thinking there, yeah, it could be the end for the, for the Memphis Grizzlies here, and I'm thinking that it will be tough unbound. Brooks inside, two-pointer up, rebounded by Morant, and a solid D on Andrew Wiggins here as Curry misses back to Thompson. Finds over to Wiggins. He fights over back to Curry. Dishes back to Wiggins. And Wiggins scoops a drive, and that's a Wiggins two-pointer basket. His first bucket. That's a tough one to make that one in play. Andrew Wiggins was out on all his timing success for his run. Moray inside. Step in the paint, no good at all. Curry right back to Wiggins. He fights over to Thompson. Moves it over and it's tipped away by Bain. Morant for three, good, outside the range is up, and they are rolling it back in there. I don't know if they're going to try to like keep it going. This pressure is going to give them a hard timing for Morant and their teams. They're going to get right on it. Now they're all over the place. Green right over to Wiggins. Inside, gets a good feed off and look and angle. Wiggins got a second bucket. They're extending the lead so far as those teams are way up pressure here. Here's Morant. The team is trying to keep it in the pride. Morant, oh my, my, my mama mia moment. <laughs> I, I don't know if I was saying it right, but um, oh my goodness, I should have said that one here. Well, you could have said that one. That would have been a, just a right thought. Ja Moran, you feel like your pressure on that one and reverse dunk? Wow, amazing effort. Timeout called by Golden State Warriors with a 2.19 to go, and they are trailing by seven. Trailing by nine, I meant. But there is so much other happenings here if the teams are going to try to get there that far. The Eastern Conference will be up or underway shortly once this game is over. We will have is the Bucks and Celtics back at Pfizer.forum. And then we will have the Sixers playing against Miami Heat back at, at FDX Arena in Game 5. There's so much time to be bringing back here in between the two zones. And now we have some time right now for the New Balance Player of the Game. For Game 5, this one goes out to Stephen Curry. Another streaking victories out there. He's a star and looks like nobody they mean, I mean, nobody had it all in down. The most time that Stephen Curry's got an all time out, he really does have his feet. All of his pressure works for him. And I love to see that Stephen Curry's going to give it all they got. Much, much pressure here. It might be very tough ones to give that one a try. But all I know that Stephen Curry was a deliver, a hard believer on his timing. Warriors lead by nine. 
He gets up to green. He's going in. And he dunk it all. Curry is delivering. That's my man. Green is on the attack. Green, what a great uh, hustle in the bound. In for the finishing drive moment. Here's Morant, covered by Curry. Two minutes to remain in the fourth quarter. And this one is coming down the wire. Morant outside. Three pointer is good. They are back down by six. I'm sorry, they're down by six. I was, I was correct. Curry up to pool. Pool tried to deliver it out, and he has lost it. Bain is on the attack. Up to Brooks. Morant for three. And it's off the bound. Oh no. That was not so good after all. It was a tough rebounding shot. Sharp the angle out there. Not really a good pacing. And Seven Curry gives a two point. The average right now is up by 12. Is up by eight. Now Morant tries again. A deliver feed of the rebound is off the target. Thompson up back to Green. Poole back over to Curry. 1.10 to go. Time is running out. Yeah, you got a lot of them going on out there. I'm, I'm guessing that the Memphis Grizzlies will have to return next season for them. Thompson back to Green. Shoots inside. Off the target it goes. And this one is rebounded by Brooks. Brooks still gets it covered here. Finds Adams. And dunk is all you've got. Adams receiving another dunker, and now we're back again by six. This all does carry out at that point. I really love to show him what they got. Pool out again to Curry. Thompson outside. Curry back to Pool. He's going to go for it. That one will be off the target. We're under 30 seconds left to go, and Grizzlies are looking for a closing gap. Finds over to Jackson Jr. Up around again. Up and one! What a shot here! And this one's another foul on the Warriors. Wow, the coach is not really impressed out there. This all happens to be with a tough breaking ankle out there. What a sharp angle and a finish drive here for the Grizzlies to give it all they have. Jackson Jr. at the free throw line shooting one. And they're going to try to close things up here. Makes it in. And this is a closing gap that you, you can feel that they all they have. Wiggins, you bet. A stunk is lifting in this moment. What a show. This one's like an all whole time man. I don't know what to tell you, but this was all that happened to be here like they did before. Timeout called by the Grizzlies with only 11.2 seconds. Now they need some new changes here to get things off. A bigger run, bigger attack, and they have it all in down. Coming up, we have the Bucks and the Celtics here back at Pfizer.forum. And later we have is the Sixers and Heat. As fan and the ever crews of OJ and Silver Spoon will be there right on the sideline as well here for the next commentator here in the Eastern Conference section. I will be getting over to Miami and the Sixers and we went with that one here. Lightball, do you want to like head here to the double header for this game? I think it's fine. I think it's possible enough for me. I'll give that one a go. <laughs> well, it's all we have here. That's what we can give it all a great, uh, great referee credit. And I will be here for the next game here in game six. And the changes are being here with all the shots. And now the two last timeout will be on Warriors and Grizzlies. Here's Brooks. Now he will give things up. And he finds Morant. Three-pointer up in range. Up and short. This one will have to give things up to Adams with a foul. And they will have to go to the free throw line once the next foul is called. And it wanted to waste down the clock. And that will do. The final score, 54-49. Warriors are moving in to the conference finals here for the first time ever since 2019. An awesome effort out there. They are all pressuring out there. 
What a game this all turns out. And to close things off, we go to David Aldridge. Thank you very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet, why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Oh, that's the key to the game. With that turnover, how many free throws they shot? They weren't able to set their defense. We didn't turn the ball over, we were able to set ours. Those are the two games I was at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. All right, David. Thank you very much here. And thank you to Lightbulb for here for the first game. He will be back here for the second game of Miami and Sixers after the game of the Bucks and Celtics. It's going to be a lot of fun out there. I'm definitely going to uh, definitely enjoy it so far. Well, good call because that's what we all are here for. Give it all we've got. Don't have to stay here for one time. And now to close things off, the three star players of the game. And since we are almost out of time right now, let's give things off to you first, Lightbulb. You start. All right, thank you very much here. Number three, we got a great uh, look in between here, and this one goes for Clay Thompson. It really does deliver him for his, a moment time and effort here. Sometimes he really gets the things on the go if they wanted to go for it. Eight points, one rebound, one assist, and a steal. He did a great job out there. Now the number two spot will be Mephone. Number two, all has to go with Ja Morant. I know this uh, team is already out. But right now, John Morant has got 16 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 steal. Only 3 dunks has performed. What a show run. I'm definitely telling you this one. He's the bestest player here. I think we'll see him for next season. And now for you, the Son of Beast. Number 1. This one has to be him. Another 1. Streaking in below, Stephen Curry. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 game winning streaks here. For the New Balance player of the game, 17 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists, and only an excellent 25 performance run. Well, I guess the first game and second game are closed here for the Western Conference, but for Game 6, we will have to stick around later for the Jazz and Suns back at the Vivint Smart Home Arena after Game 5 is concluded. So with that one, thank you for watching, and if you're tuning in for the Bucks and Celtics, keep your eyes open because the game will be starting soon. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. And I am out of here. Me and Lightbulb will be back here for the last game of the Heat and Sixers. Have a good night in Grizzlies. Until next time, take care, folks.